Anybody can become angry, that is easy, but to be angry with the right person and to the right degree and at the right time and for the right purpose, and in the right way, that is not within everybody's power and is not easy. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution, it represents the wise choice of many alternatives, choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them, for these only gave them life, those the art of living well. One swallow does not make a summer, neither does one fine day, similarly one day or brief time of happiness does not make a person entirely happy. Man is by nature a social animal, an individual who is unsocial naturally and not accidentally is either beneath our notice or more than human. Society is something that precedes the individual. Anyone who either cannot lead the common life or is so self-sufficient as not to need to, and therefore does not partake of society, is either a beast or a god. One swallow does not make a summer, neither does one fine day, similarly one day or brief time of happiness does not make a person entirely happy. Excellence is an art won by training and habituation. We do not act rightly because we have virtue or excellence, but we rather have those because we have acted rightly. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act but a habit. Men acquire a particular quality by constantly acting a particular way. You become just by performing just actions, temperate by performing temperate actions, brave by performing brave actions. Happiness does not consist in amusement. In fact, it would be strange if our end were amusement, and if we were to labor and suffer hardships all our life long merely to amuse ourselves. The happy life is regarded as a life in conformity with virtue. It is a life which involves effort and is not spent in amusement. A tyrant must put on the appearance of uncommon devotion to religion. Subjects are less apprehensive of illegal treatment from a ruler whom they consider God-fearing and pious. On the other hand, they do less easily move against him, believing that he has the gods on his side. If things do not turn out as we wish, we should wish for them as they turn out. Bad people, are in conflict with themselves, they desire one thing and will another, like the incontinent who choose harmful pleasures instead of what they themselves believe to be good. The self-indulgent man craves for all pleasant things, and is led by his appetite to choose these at the cost of everything else. Yes the truth is that men's ambition and their desire to make money are among the most frequent causes of deliberate acts of injustice. We must not listen to those who advise us being men to think human thoughts, and being mortal to think mortal thoughts but must put on immortality as much as possible and strain every nerve to live according to that best part of us, which, being small in bulk, 